Do you know you can do a complete photo manipulation inside of a photo from A to Z? So what most of you know about a photo before is just photo retouching and color grading. But with the latest update on Evoto 1, you should be able to edit, manipulate full background inside of Evoto. So no need for you to take in from Photoshop straight to Evoto to do the retouching. You can start your editing process on Evoto and edit on Evoto. So if you're already a subscriber of Evoto, congratulations. All you just need to do is just to log straight onto your account on Evoto and start editing just as easy as that. And if you're here to make purchase, all you just need to do is to use the link down in my video description to get discount on whatever package you buy from there. Trust me, you're going to love this software. You get, you're going to get to love this software just as much as I do. So, the picture that's on your screen right now was actually edited, manipulated with Evoto AI. So, let me show you how I do just that. So now, welcome to Evoto panel. So, we'll be working with these two pictures that you're seeing over here on my screen. So, to the left hand side is my before, to the right hand side is my after. So whatever we do here, whatever I do on the picture is going to reflect in this particular direction. So with just three clicks or four clicks, let's change this background and watch me do it. So what I just need to do right now is to do it. I'll just come to the background. Before, here is where we usually come, which is our facial marks over here, where we do our retouching, our blemishes remover, etc, etc. So we are told that's where we to end and we do it. We smoothing our fabrics. So, but now you can now change background perfectly. So let's do this manipulation with just three simple click. So I'll just come to what I'll come to the background icon, which is over here. Right? You can do what you can decide to do what you can decide to go with simple plain background. So let's go to recommend first. So if I'm to click on brown, I just want to wait to load up. You're going to do what change my background to brown for me. If I'm to choose on gray, as you can see, though all these ones the shadow are not still there, so you can later add the shadows yourself. So there's this particular one I saw earlier on. I think it's around this gradient. Yeah, I love this. I love this in particular. I love this. I love this also. Can you see? I was able to transform my background from this to this with just three simple click right now. So look at this color over here also. So you might be thinking, where is my shadow? Where is my shadow? That's not an issue right now. All you just need to do is to go back to the background where the background is located and do it. Look for shadows, soft shadows. As you can see right now, it's going to create a shadow for you from scratch, right? And you can do what you can retain the original shadow that is in the picture, but this picture does not have much initial shadow. So do what click on the AI retain shadow, and it's going to retain the shadow for you. As you can see, the shadow is not very very sharp. It's not giving us what we need. So look at what it gave us right now. I like the one coming from the back, but I don't like the one coming from the front. So just do what click on this pen over here. As you can see, then pick your brush too. Then screw over the area where you don't want to clean up, which is this particular area. As you can see right now, it's going to remove all that for us. I just have to click on my OK. As you can see right now, we have the shadow which it gave us and the initial shadow of our picture. Very, very simple and straightforward. So you can do what you can decide to blur the background, but you can't blur this background right now. Because, okay, this is for the shadow. You can try to blur the shadow a little bit. You see fit and you can just leave it sharp. So, blowing out is the perfect stuff for it. So, that being said right now. So, there's some time you want to do manipulation. Probably the color of the background you're bringing in. Probably some part of the air is actually still showing on the background. So, all you just need to do is just to do what? Remove spill. Though we don't have that in, that in this particular picture. So, once you click on that remove spill, automatically it's going to remove the remnant of the remaining background you actually remove for the picture so it's going to remove that for you with just a single click very simple and straightforward but that's not why we're here why we're here you want to do a nice manipulation as you all know what i focus mostly on is photo manipulation so to manipulate this background right now all you just need to do is to come over here come to my backdrop so i just uploaded this to backdrop straight from my file manager so probably let's say for tutorial reason you want to just bring in the background into every two all i just need to do is to click on add and I will go to my file manager. So it's going to load it straight for me. Let's bring this in right now. Or this. Okay, let's bring this in. I'll click on open. As you can see, I have three backgrounds over here right now. So let's use the first one. As you can see right now. This is very, very nice. But the issue I'm having right now is she's not standing where she's supposed to stand to. And that's where a photo just did something. Anybody can do this and use it to manipulate background. So just scroll down a little bit. And do what? Come to the size. You can increase the size of the background. You can reduce the size of the background till you see fit. Then you can do what you can flip to the right, you can you can flip down, you can flip up using vertical. 
and you can just return it back to normal. Let's return it back to normal. Zero. And do what? Let's increase the size of it. Let's increase the size. Next thing we need to do, the horizontal, let's drag it left to right. So you can just adjust it. So let's use the vertical to drag it to the, where we want it to be. We want it to be around this way. Just expand it. Come to the size. Click on the expansion like this. And boom. But this is not the background we want to make use of right now. So let's pick another background. This is the one I'll be using. As you can see right now. Look at how nice our background look right now. All I just need to do right now is just to flip it a little bit to the vertical. As you can see. Just make it fit in perfectly. And if the size is too much, I can reduce the size and I can increase the size. Very, very easy and straightforward. In just two minutes, I was able to manipulate this background. And anybody can do this. You don't need any experience in manipulation. All you just need to do is to get the next background. So before I, I, I already thought you can just do portrait background removal since there's no way to retain shadow. But with this, you can do both portrait and full pictures in Evoto AI with just a single click. No experience needed for this. So if you are not using Evoto yet, you're already missing out on this special offer. And as time goes by, they will be adding some other features to it that's going to make manipulation very, very easy. So that being said, right now, let's try another picture. Let's try this particular picture over here right now. Let's try this picture. I'll have to crop this picture to portrait. Let me crop this picture to portrait size. I'll come to the crop over here. And I'm going to select the size I want. Original, I will change it to 4 by 5 into bracket 8 by 10. So I'll drag it to where I want it to be. I want it to be around this way. I want it to be like this. Then I'll click on OK. Next thing I just need to do, I'll go to the background again. Okay, I'm still there. Then I'll click on Add Background. Then I'll pick a background I want to make use for this. So I'll be using one of my Canva backdrop. I just have to go to where my background is located and I'm going to drag it into Evoto AI. Okay, this is the background I'll be making use of right now. All I just need to do is to click on Open. Just wait for it to load up. And I'm going to click on the background. I'll wait for it to load, as you can see right now. Boom. Look at what it did for us right now. It actually changed the background for us perfectly. Now look at the look at this area over here. As you can see, it's not showing the remnant of the other background, the previous background. It's actually fitting everything, everything for us perfectly. And I can adjust where the background, where you want your background to be. You can increase the size, reduce the size, then you can adjust. You can adjust. There's also an option which I saw earlier on where you can change the blend mode of your background. From normal, you can change it to multiply, or you can change it to, uh, to soft light. But it's not going to work on this particular picture because there's no photo shadow here where we want to retain. So, very, very easy and straightforward. You can still do what? Add some shadow to your portrait picture also. Let's add the drop shadow, as you can see right now, which is not what I want. Look at the add shadow also. But this add shadow shows on full picture. So, very, very simple and straightforward. So, all you just need to do right now is to use the link down in my video description and make purchase today.